Hi traders, uh, 5th of September 2019. This is a quick overview of the advanced moving average crossover system, which uh, is our essentially reborn version. It's uh, the same system as we sell on the MetaQuotes Marketplace website, i.e. mql5.com. Uh, same price, $30, um, but uh, a little bit a little bit neater in terms of license management. So what the system does is it allows you to plot two moving averages um, of specific period, which you can define onto any MT4 chart. So if we right click on the, X, on the input parameters for the system, you can see we've got our fast moving average here, fast period moving average and our slow period moving average. And in this case, we're just using five and 10. We've got our moving average calculation method, which we, in this case, we're using the simple calculation method, but we can use exponential, smoothed, or linear weighted, all the usual ver variants which are available in MetaTrader. We can adjust the the way the um, the price is applied into the formula. So, if you want to use closed prices or open prices, or the high, low, medium, typical price or weighted price. You can inject those. Um, we normally use the close price as default. We can shift the value for the moving average, so I, you can move the actual calculation window back. I don't see any point in doing that at all. I think it's completely um, erroneous thinking because if you think about it, what you're doing is you're actually retarding an already lagging indicator. Um, so it makes no sense, but some people like to be able to do that, um, but you know, more for them. Um, you can have an alert when the, when the crossovers are printed, if that's set to true, the, when the crossovers actually print on the chart, i.e. the cross is physically formed, you'll get an alert. If that's not set to true and it sets to false, you'll get alerts when the, the crossovers are temporal. So if the two, if the, if the fast moving average temporarily crosses down over the, the slow moving average, you'll get a temporal cross down. So a touch cost, if you like. Uh, you can set the uh, system to use MT4 pop-up alerts. So if that's set to true, you'll get a pop-up in you know using the normal alert window in MT4. Uh, you can have email alerts as well, uh, and that would use the, the MT4 email function, which I can show you here. So if you go to tools and then options in MT4 and then go to email, you can enable that and fill out all your SMTP, SMTP server and login details accordingly. So that's no drama. Um, let's go back into our parameters again. And so we got to uh, use email alerts. Uh, you can set a minimum interval between alerts and seconds, and that's obviously defined here as 10 seconds. You can set the maximum number of alerts, um, and you can reset the whole alert counter after a certain number of minutes. So that gives you a load of control about how alerts are generated. Um, you've got arrow codes for the uh, up and down signals, and those arrow codes are using windings codes. So if you go into, let's get the windings codes for you. So if you go into the Meta, uh, MetaTrader editor, let's just close this down, and this is some code I've been working on here. If you click help and then go to MQ, MQR4 reference, and then if you type in windings, or wingdings, I should say, W-A-N-G-D-I-N-G-S, you can see all the actual windings codes here. Uh, and you notice that we're using 233 and 234, so up and down arrows. Um, you can easily change these to whatever you want to see. So that's how we generate those arrow codes. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's carry on going through our parameters and explaining how those work. Uh, you can obviously change your colors. So we're using blue for cross-ups. Let's go change that to yellow. So you can now see that cross-up has been changed to a yellow, which isn't particularly easy to see in fairness. And let's go back to our parameters again. Arrow sizes, um, what have we done here? So we've got we medium, large, extra, large, and let's see how those work. So let's go extra, extra, large, and let's go back to something we can actually see. I'm slightly colorblind, so I struggle with this a little bit. So yeah, so I just made that cross up arrow really big. And same thing applies for the cross down, you've got exactly the same controls. 
system information alerts, uh, if that's set to true, will tell you when the alert counter has been reset and things like that. I normally leave that as false, um, it just keeps things cleaner. Um, the um, system alerts will come up in the experts tab down here. So you can see in MT4 you have the terminal window down here and there's an experts tab here which will give you details about what's going on if system information alerts is enabled. Push alerts, um, if you enable this you can basically get push notifications sent to a mobile device in MT4. So to enable push notifications you go to tools, options, notifications, click enable push notifications then you get an ID and um, essentially you can test that um, and on the mobile device which you um, install the mobile MetaTrade platform on you'll have to input that MetaQuotes ID then when you click the test button it'll basically send a test push notification so essentially what happens if you enable push notifications in our product um, it'll just fire through those push notifications to whichever device you've enabled so pretty straightforward and the final part of our little overview of this product is the show crossover arrows so if I turn that to false you don't get any crossover arrows uh, a couple of things to mention about uh, this is um, let's put crossover arrows on again so Moving average crossovers work really well in trends. So you can see here, this is sterling over on an hourly chart, and you can see essentially how we've been on this uptrend. And you can see these these long entries, i.e., the, the cross up arrows, give, have given us sensational entries into an upward trend. In the same way that if you see any downward trend, say for example, uh, this downtrend we had here so any cross down arrows typically gave us very nice entries you know you could have built quite a nice position in there um, so be be aware of that it's important to be aware of in sideways markets moving averages don't work well so if you look at situations like you see here choppy market conditions you've got you know nothing much going on uh, the moving average will, will just kind of get you, you'll get whipsawed in and out. But when you get trends, they work really well. So if you want to get a bit more advanced and you want to look at more comprehensive systems, start looking at things like the triple moving average system, which we market. Um, and you can see that on the website here. Let's just go to that. So go to products and we go to the pro series tools and the triple moving average crossover system is here and you can see that's kind of what I'm talking about where you've got long term trends you can use three moving averages in this case we use a 200 period moving average and then the system will, will only give you crossover alerts when the trends are stacked so that means the longer term moving average in this case a downtrend is higher than both the others both the shorter term moving averages so you can see these nice entries giving you you know good entry points into a downtrend so essentially selling um, you're selling rallies in this scenario and in this case you see here we've got a, a long term uptrend um, denoted by a 50 period moving average and you see these entry points here when you're buying dips essentially so the other thing about this tool is it uses a, a Java interface which is the, a more sophisticated way of, sophisticated way of changing uh, parameters but for the purposes of what we were talking about for uh, we were just talking about this very basic twin moving average crossover system but with an extensive set of external input parameters which you can modify accordingly so hopefully that uh, will make sense and